Okay, I've showed you uh, how to introduce a queen. I'm going to show you a, a different method, uh, slightly di different, and I've had good luck with it. So, uh, this hive here, this, this colony, I, I took bees out of another hive without the queen, and so right now they have no queen, and I'm going to introduce a new queen to them. And uh, I took my brick off. I'm going to take the top off. Usually a colony, a small colony like this, uh, you don't have to you don't have to smoke them. They're they're not uh, defensive. So I'm going to take out the outside frame like I did on the other one. The the last hive that I looked into, it didn't have it just had a little food, it didn't have much. Now uh, this is a uh, there's a lot of bees in this one. And there's pollen. I'm I'm being I'm being careful to be sure there's not any eggs. You girls kind of scoot around there so I can get your frame out, okay? Uh, when I move around, I have I have not smoked these bees. When you move, you you want to be uh, steady and uh, don't 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 move jerky. Now I'm gonna blow on them. To kind of sometimes in the bottom of the cell it's shiny and it will look like there are eggs in there when they're not a, a, a beekeeper okay my battery ran out I had changed batteries so <clears throat> uh, there's a lot of bees in here a lot more bees than last time than the the previous hive okay but uh, I'm I'm when I'm going in through here, I'm checking for food, and uh, I, I, I do not see much food. Food being being honey or nectar. So you want to be sure they have, just like a cattle farmer, he he's uh, he makes sure that that. Uh, I'm looking for queen cells. I don't see any. Wait a minute. Ooh -wee. My, my. Okay, this was a queen cell right here. And you see, it looks like a peanut. But they've, they've, uh, that queen cell did not develop in, Uh, when you're introducing new queens, you always have the possibility that you have a virgin queen in there. Uh, virgin queens are harder to find. They're smaller. And uh, they're harder to find. Well, this is full, this is full of brood. And... Uh, I need to put some, I need to put some, uh, some food. I've got, i got some frames, frames of honey that I'm going to set on top of these, these two hives because they, they are down to, they're down to almost nothing. The other hive had a little nectar in it. I, I, I see zero in this one. All right, so now I'm going to show you, uh, uh, this is for beekeepers, uh, new beekeepers that want to introduce a new queen, and I more or less learned this by accident last year, okay, now here's my queen, uh, I can tell when, uh, when, when honeybees are 
they're getting a little irritable. Uh, their their pitch, the sound of their they they it's higher pitch. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but they're starting to get a little irritable. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do it. In this case, I'm not going to let the worker bees out. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to spray them with sugar syrup and a product called uh, uh, well I done forgot the name of the product now uh, uh, honey be healthy honey be healthy is the name of the product it smells wonderful to, to humans I don't think the bees like it but I have learned that it's supposed to be good for the bees. Uh, it, uh, it's a very temporary thing. Now this bee right here just now stung me on the arm. And there's a stinger, and I'm gonna scratch it out. That just goes along with the, with the business. Uh, I'm going to spray this queen with Honey Bee Healthy. It has a wonderful scent to it, but I don't believe the bees like it. And but it covers up her scent and they recognize her they don't smell her scent because of this honey bee healthy and so they accept her so I'm going to spray her in the cage uh, one time I was going to wait till she come out of the hole and then spray her and that was a mistake because she flew as soon as she come out of the hole she immediately flew and that's another story I got her back, but that's another story. So, I'm going to spray her, and then I'm going to take the cork out, and I'll probably have to take this screen off so she will get out. And I'm also going to spray the bees in this open space with Honey Bee Healthy. It's a very temporary thing. It's not a, it's just a, uh, it's not it's not any kind. It's, it's not a chemical at all. It's, it, it's a fragrance. So I'm gonna spray her. Then I'm gonna take the cork out. If she doesn't come out, then I'm gonna take the screen off, and hopefully I can lay it on this side where you can watch her come out. Okay. Now I'm gonna spray the bees first. I'm of the opinion they don't like that that smell, but it but it sure does look good. It sure does smell good to humans. Okay, now uh, I've sprayed the bees, and I'm going to take this cage, this screen off. All right, now there's the queen. If you can see her, there she is, right there. And look at her on top. Okay, now she, uh oh, okay, she she went down in there. All right, now we're going to, we're going to put the, we're going to put the frames back in there. And I've got ten frames, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine frames in there. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a nine frame spacer and I'm going to space them. Okay. Now, we're going to put the inner cover back on there. No, we're not. Um, I'm going to get this honey, of, of the super of honey, and put on there because they're, they're getting low on honey. All right, I'm going to cut it off. 